Hi, this is Deborah Peters and welcome back to The Deborah Peters Show. I'm just on the edge of running out of light again and uh, so I'm gonna knock this out really quickly. What I wanna share with you is my daily habits, my lifestyle habits in order for me to live a high performance life because it's so important to get yourself dialed in. And I read a book a long time ago that covered this entire chapter called Freedom Through Discipline. And I was like, wow, this is fascinating. I wonder how this can really impact my life. Because what I was seeking, I think in some level, what we're all seeking is freedom. So I started implementing the principles that were in that chapter. And coming from a fitness background, it was, it was kind of easy for me on, on the front of, you know, taking care of my body, but there was other parts of my life that I just wasn't getting sorted out. And so getting this ritual in place that works has enabled me to really be very productive, um, to stay in a place of high vibration, to stay positive, and to be able to create, because we're all creators. A creator isn't just a musician or a sculptor or a painter or, a, or a, an entertainer. Creativity in business is really the key to success. So if you own a business, if you're starting a business, if you work on a team, or if you just wanna have a higher level of living your life where you feel like you're on purpose, you're in charge, and you're the one that's actually determining your outcomes, then I'm going to give you from Sunday through Saturday how I actually live my life. And you can take from this what works for you and apply it or you can um, just discard it. It's up to you. But I'm telling you, this is what works for me. So Sundays, I typically spend a good chunk of my Sunday before I go out into the world tuning into me. And that includes, well, of course, every day of the week I meditate every day. I set time at least 30 minutes to meditate. Now, I've done the, the express version of 15 minutes. You can do that too. I've got um, meditations on my YouTube channel. Feel free to take those, use those, modify them, make them your own, whatever works for you. But, you know, I'm all about the smallest change for the greatest result. So I'm not suggesting that you have to be this monk in a cave on a, on a mountaintop or anything like that. So I always meditate every single morning for sure. It's in my calendar, but on Sundays I spend a little bit more time going into a deeper place within myself. So it typically looks like it could be up to a two hour process on a Sunday morning for me. You know, some people go to church, I meditate whatever works for you, whatever your belief system. And so when I get up in the morning, you know, I, I, I typically don't really have an agenda for a Sunday. It's kind of like one of those days where I don't schedule anything unless it's a one-off where there's a special luncheon, you know, I'm part of a group and once a month we meet for lunch. So on occasions like that, yes. But typically I get up in the morning on Sunday and I spend time in a very deep communing process with myself. So I'm, I'm doing a lot of writing. I have a book. I fill many, many books with writing. I'm a firm believer in scripting out your desires, the things you want to manifest from the body you want, the health you want, the relationships you would like, the money you want to create, the business you're growing. The thing is, is that when you script them out, you actually cause more neurons to fire than if you type it. And so there's a download that takes place when you actually hand write things out. So on Sunday morning, I will get up and I will, I will meditate, do my meditation process. Uh, I kind of, you know, putz around my home, 
um, doing little things, water my plants. But the whole time I'm, I'm in this deep appreciation of my life and everything that life has to offer. You know, nature, my friends, my family, my clients, my business. Like I get to do this. Like I get to get up every day and help people become more happy, more fulfilled, more successful. You know, all of those things about living a, a very on purpose life. Then I get into doing some writing. Now, sometimes I'm, I'm in, a, in a reading process and instead of just highlighting in the book what stands out to me, I'll actually write it out and I'll make it applicable to my own journey, to my own desired outcomes, to the things that I'm creating in my future. And with that, then I also might find um, inspiring messages through YouTube and, and other portals where I will write out that inspiring message as it applies to my life. And sometimes that comes from movies. You know, recently I watched for the umpteenth time the movie Secretariat. Well, let me tell you, that movie is so full of motivational, inspiring, um, just like gets your juices flowing morsels to move your life forward. Just the sheer tenacity of what they created together as a team and setting, setting the tone for the entire industry for, for decades, right? So I'll do that kind of thing where I'll, I'll have watched a movie or I'll watch a movie and I, I never watch anything that's, that's hardcore, you know, um, negative, everything, everything, I'm such a softy, everything I watch is feel good movies. Um, and then I speak out loud, uh, things that I am seeking to bring to fruition and I'll speak over myself who I am and whom I am becoming. Now there's some people that I've connected with that have really powerful way about them and they will say things that I will connect with and I will actually turn those into mantras. So I'm tuning in all the time to everything that's around me and I'm using that to my greatest capacity. Now, beyond that, another thing I will do on Sundays is I hit the trail. So I get outside, I go up into the mountains. I have created for myself this 6.2 mile round loop where it's mostly ascension and then there's some traversing and then there's a shorter, the, the descent is only about two miles, but it's phenomenal. Like every time I go, my body feels it afterwards. And I use that time, it's very intentional. I use that time to be thankful, to, to be appreciating everything about this world, this life, who I am, who am I becoming. And I celebrate how far I've come because I remember when I first started doing that trail, I could not do 6.2 miles. Let me tell you, it was way, way too much work. So that is a for sure, for given, I get out time outside and I spend a great deal of time outdoors. Now, another thing I do every day when I get up in the morning is I immediately start drinking water. I never turn on any of my devices, my computer's off, my phone. I turn my phone off when I go to sleep at night. So I don't have any influence from the outside world. As soon as I get up in the morning, on, this is me personally, so you can play with it as you like. I mean, it's your body, so you do what you want with it. I typically get up and I'll have a probiotic with a big glass of water. And then I immediately sit down and I turn on some very high frequency music, usually something around along the lines of um, crystal singing bowls, a harp, like something that has a really high vibrational tone to it. And I'll do my meditation. I come out of my meditation. I speak 
my my mantras and my affirmations over me over my day and then i sit down with my my planner and i script out my day and i determine what my targets are what my power words are um you know where my breaks are all of that like it's all listed out from there then i drink some more water and at that point i'm i'm taking some apple cider vinegar and i'm putting it in my water and i'm giving my my internal <laughs> internal process my liver um so a support system so right now for the last uh, about three and a half four months i've been doing keto with intermittent fasting combination so i basically don't eat until it's my window uh time window to eat so i'm i'm in that fasting mode and the beauty of that is my entire body gets to flush and i feel so alive and i feel so clear the mental clarity is profound and the emotional balance is phenomenal i can't even tell you so that's my morning routine now when i get into work i already have my week calendared in advance i use an online calendaring system and it's it's a link directly into my calendar that i send out my team has it um, and i send it out and i have different categories that people can self-book themselves into i determine the time frame of those meetings the buffers before and after um, and the content of the conversation so i know exactly who i'm meeting with and what the point of that meeting is and what it's all about and what i'm looking to give and what i'm looking to take away and all of that is is um connected into the bigger plan of my business growth and exactly what it is i'm doing now on mondays and tuesdays and thursdays i have very specific workouts that i do i am in this process right now of working out in the evenings now some of you may like to work out in the morning uh, i do that sometimes too but right now at this point it's evening workouts for me I really like it because my office is in my home and when I shut things down and I go to the gym and I come back, I don't turn things back on. So I have a really clear demarcation line between Deborah, the business person and Deborah, the, the human being personal time. I don't have any issue with that. Now on those nights, I never turn on the television. So what I'm doing when I get home is I'm really dialing into what I'm creating. And so it's holiday time. What I've been doing in the evenings is I've been working on learning something new. And I've also been working on creating Christmas cards for um, veterans that are in service right now that are being deployed and sent off to different parts of the world. So it's a way of, of connecting out there and giving back and, and whatnot. And then I'm going through a learning curve. So I'm always studying something. I'm either studying neuroscience, I'm studying business strategy, I'm studying marketing, I'm studying LinkedIn, I'm studying YouTube because I'm building my channel right now. Then Wednesday nights I have reserved for happy hour networking. And that might be meeting with a company principal, it might be going to an actual happy hour with a group that's been already formatted. So I have my, my Wednesdays set aside for that. And then Fridays, I will typically do something of a personal nature. And that might be hitting up a dance class. That might be going out for dinner with friends. Saturday is always about um, getting into the development of the next stage growth of my business so it's the longer term visioning so instead of just being like a few months in advance it's building what's happening two and three years down the road and i spend some time on that and then of course you know you got to do some personal errands so you know i'm grabbing groceries etc when i grab my groceries it's always with keeping my current eating 
plan in mind. I don't call it a diet. It's an eating plan because it's a decision. I feel like diets are a deprivation. And so I'm not into deprivation at all. I don't see any point in that. There's too many luxurious, wonderful morsels on the planet. Why wouldn't we enjoy everything, right? So it's about my eating plan. And I only purchase things that are part of the plan because I just don't see any point in having, for instance, potato chips in my house if I'm not engaging in, in eating potato chips. So why tempt myself? Um, on that note, then I will take some time when I get back from the grocery store, from the market, and I will do some meal prep. Now, when you're eating a lot of fresh food, you can't really meal prep a whole week worth of food because it just won't last. So I'll meal prep at least the first three days of the week, maybe four at the utmost. And then I pretty much have that dialed in because the only time I eat out and go to restaurants is when I'm engaging in a meeting with a client or a referral partner or you know some sort of a business relationship or, or a personal fun time. The rest of the time, all my meals are prepared by me, for me, because I wanna know exactly what's going on into my food. And frankly, I've actually come to like the whole meal prep process. It's becoming quite enjoyable, and I'm, I've been teaching myself how to cook. So that's been really great as well. So those are my basic, fundamental, steps and routines that I'm in that really truly are the difference that make the difference. Now, I haven't gone really too deeply into the business strategy side of it because I thought I would just start this with step one and, and let you know what I'm doing in terms of just me as a person, as a business person. Now, what I will say about my intermittent fasting and my keto I absolutely love this process. I had a quite a bit of inflammation in my body that was there just from cheating and and you know the odd cocktail and a few glasses of wine here or there and what made me motivated to do this is I had sprained my knee and doing a, a dance class, I think I was doing like a Bollywood or something dance class, I had the wrong shoes on, it was my, to my fault totally. And it just wasn't healing. It was going like month after month, and I'm like, this is ridiculous. So I just decided, you know, let your food be your medicine and let your medicine be your food. So I thought, I can do this. I used to own a gym, I have a background in nutrition, there's absolutely no reason why I can't do this. So I just did the research and jumped in. So we're running out of light. I'm gonna cut this off. I think I've given you pretty much everything in this first round. And if you have questions, if, you, if there's more that you wanna know about my workouts and the things I'm doing, let me know, I'd be happy to share. So thank you for tuning in. Thank you for liking, subscribing, and please give me a thumbs up. I'm building my channel and I would love to get more subscribers. So thank you, have a blessed evening, ciao.